War sworn work? Good. The gold's run low and my mother's not doing so well. To the Warden's Bridge it is. Aye, the one smack in the heart of Lorca Rain. Go north of here, then east, then south along the road. It's seen its share of hardship, so I can serve in the militia and do what I can. All able bodies must serve in turn. Since Warsworn know how to fight, we're usually the first called. <coughs> A plague troubles Dyden here. It's but a hindrance for the young and healthy. For her. For the older ones. Some get through it. Others... Others don't. It's an honor to be taken as hireling, and they do look after their own. Since Mother fell ill, I've had more work and pay than ever before. I'm more grateful than I can say. Farewell, Mother. I won't be long. The boggarts bring the blood plague.
Step carefully in the forest. The waters of Loch Dighton. I will never be your lover, yet I will make a likeness of your loveliness, your sun-kissed face, your moonlit eyes. I found a crest of sand from which I will give my love true form.
The water shaped with ease, the sand bent just as well. The plants gave way, the beasts have fled. Even stone must give way to my love, for Dara is grander than this lake I craft, this lock beside this hill. For her, a century's task seems effortless.
I knew neither of them would face me himself. Who sent you? Was it Delph? Agna? So, you're here on behalf of Delph, that traitorous sow. I gather you're here to send a message as well. Let me guess. Blood has been paid for his crimes. What Delph doesn't realize is that the blood right is a privilege of the Red Legion, and he lost that privilege when he betrayed us. The choice is yours, stranger. Throw your lot in with the monk and his coward god, or work for me. At least I will pay you for your trouble. Don't tell me you're as thick as your friend Delph. I require his death. Either you can do it, or I will send another. It's your choice. Unwise. Some of us are richer than kings. If you're not with us, you're against us. The Red Legion drinks the blood of its enemies.
I'm a Tharu, I am growing worried for Brother Felon. The day is come and gone, and he still has not returned. Killed? Oh dear. Well, he is with Mitharu now. I hesitate to ask, but did you happen to take his prayer beads? Terrible if they were left to lie there with him. Why, yes, they are. And so he is dead then? Well, he has joined Mitharu. You should know we have a tradition. Rather than bury prayer beads, they are passed on to some other believer. Tell me, do you adhere to Matharu's creed? To honor and uphold the forces of order and good. Our religious mission is to see chaos and suffering laid low beneath Matharu's hammer. You have acted well and honorably thus far. It would be wrong of me to distrust you now. So it shall ever be. Good hearts shall stray from the unyielding path. Then I will take the beads. Have this in thanks in their stead. We mourn our brother's loss. And yet, in our sorrow, we acknowledge that death is part of life's pattern. A goodly sort of village, though it does not have the tranquility of Dyden Hill. Why, the great god of order, who makes the seasons to turn, life to rise from the ground, and death return to it. We have devoted our lives to this service. It may not have the luminous pomp of St. Odwig's, but then, St. Hadwin was a modest apostle of Mitharu. Our worship centers on our prayer beads and the practice of cutting and clarifying shards through sage crafting. It may not have... Our worship centers a much larger mission in Gorehart to the west. They are unmatched in venerable years of service. I like to think what we lack therein we have in humility, in purity. Yes, we have heard of the sad affliction that has struck Dyden Hill. Thus it is when nature strays from order. Mitharu guide you. Come for our sage crafting. I can help with that. Anything else, speak with Gamian or Udo. What brings you to our humble mission? You have heard of our remarkable shards and gems, perhaps? Are you a follower of Mitharu, here to worship? Ah, a follower of the great order of the world. You are, of course, welcome to our humble mission and all of Mitharu's homes.
so hard I worked to make this jewel for Dara's crown, that I did not notice when winter took her from the summer wood. Never to be Dara anymore. The work of love has made my love futile, and so I leave it to the wild. I commit myself to Ashara. I cannot love again.
Logris. You surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me! Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. As if you weren't sent here to stop me. My pursuit. But you're too late. Even now my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? Fine. Whether you're an agent of the Rose Court or the Onyx Tower, you can take your secret to the grave. My spell commands untold legions. Soon, both of their houses will crumble. You, however, will not live to see their ruin. <laughs> Those fools have no idea. You are it is clear I cannot let you live. As if the Onyx has for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 